My name is Gabe Lewis, and I am one of two underwater fire controlmen. Uh, during that time, I, I went on the destroyer as a fire controlman, an FT. I was a submarine fire controlman. They didn't have such a rate as submarine fire control. It's FTG, fire control gunnery, and that's what everybody was, uh, unless you went on the nukes and then you were an FTM missile. And, uh, you know, I went on to the destroyer, ended up the lead fire controlman, my boss, the fire control officer, stuck his head up out of the gun director, got it blown, blown off. So I'm, I'm older than most people, and there's no replacement, so I become fire control officer. Anyway, our claim to fame on that destroyer, besides shore bombardment over in the uh, French Indochina or Vietnam, that's what you want to call it, we were the last ship to go through the Suez Canal. We did shore bombardment in Jidda before you were born, okay? We, for the English, because they were fighting their way out of there. Went to Bahrain, went to Aden, went and evacuated Pakistan during the first Pakistani-Indian War. Had to swim in five miles and they didn't want to come out, you know? Okay, folks, you think we came in here to get you out? And, you, and there were no swimmer delivery vehicles. There were none of that. We were Navy Special Warfare, all the rest of that. There were, there were three of us on that destroyer. So, to make a long story short, we did get the ambassador and his entourage out of there. Uh, another highlight was the USS, not the USS, Yes, the Gemini 3 satellite, uh, astronauts. They came down. The Fox was there to pick them up. We had the David, all the rest of that. Also there was the Enterprise, about, about uh, 50 miles away or whatever. Those three poor astronauts, nobody ever saw it, sat in that capsule, heaved their guts out. The capsule ballast balloons did not all inflate. Only two of them inflated. There were three of us on the Fox, three swimmers. We had to balance that thing and try to keep these guys going until the Enterprise, who had the intelligence, could come to pluck them out of the water. Because that's where the reporters were, too. You know, the, the public doesn't see that kind of stuff. And, and these poor guys had just left space. I mean, you know, they, they were just fantastic people. And there was no room in that little capsule. You can see it inside uh, Washington, D.C. They have all that stuff up there. They were, they were at least four hours bouncing in that water. And we were trying to keep that capsule level. And you got... 300 guys on that destroyer watching these poor guys heaving all over the place. It was, I was so, I was so mad, I, I was really ticked. I was really, really mad, and, and so was everybody. Just so the Enterprise had the TV crew can come over and pluck it out of the water so they can take pictures. So you made these three guys that just lost space. You know, I mean, these, these, these guys were it, you know. Uh, and we got to it first. You know, you saw it come down out of, out of the sky and, you know, splash. And then you saw the first one ignite and blow up. You saw the second one ignite and then you saw the, you saw the capsule tip over and they went sideways. The capsule doesn't float. People don't understand that either. It sinks. So, it was, it was a shame and uh, we had I, I got to say, the bosun mates, uh, a guy named Gaggy, Gagney was the chief bosun, and he had a David rig to put, pick that thing up. And he had practiced with his crew, and he could have done it. He was a really, really talented man. We had all kinds of talented people, but they weren't utilized. All because of the politicians. So, 
Uh, it was impressive to do that. My son has a letter or an envelope with the Gemini stamp on it and all the rest of that. Your dad is part of the crew of the Gemini recovery team and all the rest of that. was, I guess it was impressive, you know. I mean, how many people see a satellite coming through the guy? You know? <laughs> yeah. but, but we never, I didn't get to shake hands with them people or nothing because they went on, they went on the, the big I, so, or the big E, rather. But, so, that's the I'm nice. But that was, that was a highlight on a tin can. Any other thing that happened on that tin can, I really did, you know, I really didn't like and I didn't have it. So, a guy named McNamara, which was the Secretary of Defense, decided that all fire controlmen, weapons people, would be involuntarily extended for the duration of the Vietnam War. On the back of your shipping articles, it says they got you till you're 71. Nobody ever reads the back of the shipping articles. That's the contract you signed. So, Matthew, what happened was they involuntarily extended me for the duration. The guy that relieved me, you know, uh, but, 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 and no buts, I am going back to submarines. And that's what I enlisted for, is to go to submarines. Thank you.